Hello, family and friends. Welcome in to your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman hummingbird, and this is going to be for my divine feminine, Cancerian and Cancerian Leo placement cusper signs. Okay, so what is a cusper sign or a cus sign? All right, your birthday would be a week to a week and a half right before the next sign. That will be a cusp sign. You're right on the cusp of the next sign, the next season, okay? So if you are a Cancerian or Cancerian Leo, all right, your date, your birthday could be right before the, um, the day of the next sign transition. You will also be considered, obviously, a cusp sign. This is your message. This is geared to the divine feminine energy, all right? The energy can still fluctuate back and forth. This is just for the divine feminine, all right? We're going to see the messages that are coming out in your energy. I could also be talking to the same-sex relationship or the cross-watchers. Welcome in. No shame in our game, right? Everybody do else. Everybody else does it. All right, you could do it too. All right. So let's see what's going on with you guys, the Van Feminine. All right. See what's going on. Now keep in mind that these messages are timeless, guys. All my messages usually are. So whenever you are seeing it, receiving it, you're supposed to. All right, let's get you a message. Okay. The energy energies can still fluctuate back and forth. Okay. I am getting over a bug, guys, so excuse my voice. All right. It's extra raspy. Let's see what's going on with you. The collective, all right, divine feminine energy for my Cancerian and Cusper babies, Cancerian and Leo. Let's see. Almighty, beautiful, universal, Holy Spirit, what's the messages? What do we need to know? All right, we're going to cut the deck. Temperance. Okay, so you could be connecting to an earth angel. Something about balance. Okay, someone here could be giving someone an ultimatum here, or you could be, if there's that balance, this could be the universe. Oh, yeah, emperor. Someone here is giving their divine masculine um, here an ultimatum, a ultimatum. This could evolve something that was a third party, um, something um, that could have came between you guys. Let's see what this is. All right, Sagittarius in... Uh, Arian here. Show me the messages. Oh, we got the hermit and his six of pentacles. Someone here was, um, could have been holding this in for a while. I keep hearing ultimatum. Ultimatum. What they want, want, want to say. Someone here could want to know, look, are we keeping this? Are we staying? Are we breaking up? What are we doing? Someone here got a lot of sleep in their eyes, too. Who the hell is that? Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Someone here sleeps like a bull. Someone here snores. <laughs> I don't know who that's for. Okay, child. I'm just here to give the message um, here. But someone here wants to know. This this person is very nervous about saying this. Nine of swords. Dominion energy towards Virgo. Yeah, five of cups. All right. Um, there, this is the thing, though. This person feels like they will have regrets if they don't say it. Yep. And it's been some time. They feel like they need to say this. They want to say this. They've been waiting on the uh, right time. Yep, three of wands to say this. I can't make it up. The right time for, you know, to make that move. Yep, the chariot. Mm-hmm. Eight of cups. Someone here could, they feel like maybe they don't know how you feel anymore. They've been waiting for the right time to tell you, yeah, yeah. Is there love here? Yes. But also someone here could feel like, you know, something new needs to happen here. Uh, yeah, something new needs to happen here. I feel like five of cups of will of fortune. This person has been holding back a while on this. Okay. It's been some time here. All right, what they want to, how they want to deal with this Scorpionic Aryan here and Taurus and how they want to move forward. Something has to change here. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, both of you guys, uh, for you guys to move forward here with the Chariot or the Eight of Cups um, here. I feel like one, 
someone here could be looking at this as a glass half full, kind of like my liquid bottle. Someone else here could see this as half empty. So it all depends on how you look at it, eight of cups, or are we looking at this like the chariot? I feel like that's the ultimatum here. I feel like this person might be nervous on how to present this, the chariot and, or the nine of swords. They do feel um, spiritually can a, a spiritual connection here. This could be why they want to put balance back into this. Okay. But yeah, we got uh, we got six three nine five. Is your angel number? Okay. Angel number uh, 6395. Now, guys, always remind you guys that you can break these numbers up at any way. Add them up separately or the same. I will also hashtag them down below. Um, relates to the field of money and hobbies. It says that your persistence is trying to keep your independence. Consistency means everything to successful people. They understand that by being consistent and their actions, they can take the proper steps towards. Someone here doesn't like the inconsistency. They want balance. Someone here can say, you know, they either this is you or this person that wants consistency. There's no consistency here. That's what this person wants to talk to you about. Now, this is the thing. This person's coming out as the emperor, and I feel like you're coming out as this temperance. You could be uh, working a lot. Maybe all your time right now is going towards, you know, your fate here. Um, you could be, you know, some of you guys could be studying a lot, going back to school with the hermit energy um, also being here. You know, just focusing on, you know, that Taurus energy, which is the bag, honey, the Six of Pentacles. Um, here. And someone here is giving someone an ultimatum. All right. Show me the Emperor. Oh, okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yep, Knight of Wands. Okay, that's the truth. Yeah. This person wants to have a very passionate uh, conversation about this. Also, the lack of sex. Yeah, not of pentacles. Child, there needs to be a conversation that needs to be had here, honey. Someone here wants to have, yeah, five of swords. They've been thinking a lot about this. I don't know. Now, yeah, you, child. That was a damn it there ain't no sex. Wait a minute. Damn it. <laughs> now, look, I ain't getting that now. So don't get it effed up. I get it right now. I'm I get it. I be mean, shit. But when we I ain't in a relationship. So for someone here that is in a relationship or working on a relationship, there might need to be, you know, it, it, it established, okay, or what that means here in this chapter in y'all's relationship. <coughs> Nine of Cups. You are wish fulfillment for this person. Yeah, because I was just about to look at you. Yeah, this person, and you could be a little masculine right now, but they're still, they're very attracted to you. And this is someone that's also attracted to your masculine side, because this is for the divine feminine, the warrior of ones. Oh my God. Yeah, the warrior of ones is Cancer Leo energy. This is you. Yeah, they're very much attracted to you. There you are in your own ready world. Yep. Yeah, honey. And they're obsessed with you. <laughs> that was the Ace of Cups. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. That was the Ace of Cups. Okay. So this person. Yep. Here it is. They want to have a conversation with you. I don't think you know it not, but they've been trying to like wait, pay attention, watching, trying to plan around your schedule, around whatever to see when it's a good time to have this conversation. I need to see the Eight of Cups. I just want to see what the Eight of Cups is here. Oh, child, balance. I can't make it up. Temperance. Here it is you balancing things out. 
someone here is going to want to know, yeah, the universe, you're going to have to like balance out your schedule here. Something like that. Yeah. It, it, you know, for things, to, you know, to, to move forward, for things to keep up, you know, for there to be a change. This person wants you to balance out your schedule, honey. Okay. With work. Um, for some of you guys, if you're manifesting this person and you want to manifest a, a new, you know, with the Ace of Cups coming out here, a new start, a new relationship, this needs to be uh, a conversation for our new beginning here. To make this work between you and this person, the Divine Feminine. Okay. Um... Your head is in, when it comes to the money, when it comes to the finances, you want the money. But there's something about this person here. They feel the spiritual connection. They feel like you guys are connected. But they, they wonder if you're going to have time for this relationship. Is there going to be even exchange here? Or even if you could identify what that might mean. Um... You could be right now in a phase of building and they, because they keep showing me a glass half full and you're like, yeah, well, in this program, I'm just building. I'm trying to get things. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But this person is looking like it is half empty. Like they're like, there's, there's something missing in this relationship. They need you to water in time. They need you to water in attention. And for some of you guys, this is also, um, they need sex from you. Okay. Here. Yeah, they need this. Okay, so I, what I'm also getting here, Divine Feminine, is that this person could have let this build up over time and now it's a conversation that might catch you off a of guard where you're like because someone here feels like you're not taking this as serious that they would like you but they're they didn't speak up they're not speaking up i want to see um and they're worried about that what is the three of wands what are they waiting so what is this what are they waiting on show me more about the three of wands here <coughs> Thank you. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Something got to change. This person's going to give you an ultimatum. It, 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 this person feels like this is overdue. This is someone that feels like they have did this already. We got the two of ones in the reverse. They're, it's like they feel like they, you guys keep having a conversation, keep making the same decision. They're empress in reverse. And either they're just being ignored. Someone here feel like you have you revisit this before. This is something that has been talked about in the past and it keeps being revisited. And if something don't change, then maybe they're they're going to change it and walk off. Whether this is you, it could be the person you're connecting to. Four cups in reverse. Eight of pentacles in reverse. The problem is they're losing sight on the relationship. It's what's happening. Yeah. And grass could be grown under. Yeah, honey. And they've been thinking about this. They don't feel like their needs is getting met. The thing is, in relationships, growth comes in forms of us sometimes going back to school. And us sometimes wanting to better ourselves. And when our time is all, you know, up, tied up in a lot of different things, someone here suffers. Someone here feels like that in, their, in this relationship. COVID has changed a lot for a lot of people. People are going back to school, open up their own businesses, working a lot, getting things off the jump, off the ground, ding, ding, off the jump. I mean, even I'm guilty of those things. I have two things I'm working on and other things that are branching off of those things. Yes, I'm manifesting, but I can relate. If I was in a relationship right now, I would worry about it suffering. 
um, because I know that I'm tied up and I'm tired. And by the time I didn't wash everything off of me, at the end of the day, I, I want to go to sleep. You know, I, I don't know if it, someone here is like, you know, you, I, I might not be too tired to climb myself and have sex. Or you, you want sex. I'm not the night, baby. Tomorrow, I'm tired. You know, someone here feels like that. Okay. All right, let's see what's, what else is going on um, in this situation. All right. Yeah, honey, I'm serious. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Sexual healing and magical moments. Okay, guys. Um, And no, this is not funny. I don't want you to think I'm laughing at you. I'm just saying on a sexual report, they want some. Bad. So you know that. And for some of you guys, yep, it will be a while before you guys could possibly, like, have sex. And it might have cured this up for a while. But that's not enough. Yeah, it's, child, it's not enough. Mm, all right, what else do we need to know here? What else is going on? Oh, my beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. What else is going on here? Show me the energy. What else is going on? Mmm. What is this? Yep, the last laugh. Okay, this is the thing. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, gosh. If you got a gut feeling that this person is cheating or have already started cheating, they have. And this is the thing. Somebody here needs to pick a struggle because I feel like I got to say this, and and if and if if to the cross watchers that is watching here, if there's a divine masculine here that's watching this for the divine feminine energy, you know, because I could be talking to a cross watcher here. This is all gonna blow up in somebody' face. This is the thing. Somebody here got to pick a struggle. At one moment they say, "We want a working woman." We want somebody who's a boss, someone who got their degrees and all this other shit. Then all of a sudden that have changed. Now it's you're married to your job. You don't have enough time for me. You're overworked. What someone here, what do you be clear on what you want? I think men and women, we have to redefine what that means publicly like there needs to be more of what does that look like in the new world order of what a man and woman relationship looks like and it's changed we even have um what they call kevin samuel babies you know not to you know go on and on and make a long story story short where he complains about that oh you're married to your job oh now you have missed the you why ain't you married Mary, but back in the time, there was a time where men, will, I remember, would complain. Oh, you don't want nothing. You ain't got shit. You ain't in school. You ain't working. You you need to get a job. Now it's too much. That's absolutely insane. Damn it. Times is changing. And people are changing with the times. Are adapting. Now the woman is becoming more masculine than Brett Raker. The more um, Brett Maker, I said Raker. You know, whatever. You know, guys, what I'm saying, Damn shit. It. You're stressing me out. It's stressing, it, 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 it's stressing everybody the fuck out. Because I just had a conversation like this the other day with um, my brother. Because I just needed to be clear on what it, what's going on. Because I remember, at a, yeah, this ha could have happened here. How this fits in for you, you put the energies where they lay. But this happened in this situation. It could be now you're becoming the emperor. Ding, ding, I knew it. Yeah. At one point in time, I could have been this person. The roles could be switching. It could be you. You know, this is just energy here. And some women are alpha and they will manifest in their masculine. Um, here, okay, divine feminist, and you could be manifesting it in your masculine energy, and this person is is intemperate, okay? You could be connected to an earth angel, but that's what this is. Um, here, let's see this person's feelings and emotions towards you. Somebody here needs to take a struggle, but someone here is waiting for the right time. I feel like you already know this with the gut feeling card. Um, here. 
This is just for the collective. Oh, let's see. Have sex. God damn, I told y'all I can't make this shit up. And they want some sex, child. They need some sex. I'm telling you. And they and the, I'm gonna tell you something too. Someone here has already started cheating. And I'm gonna be honest with you. And this is the Empress in reverse. This is someone that is giving them some sex and attention. They're not attracted to this one. Uh, this, uh, no, let me let me take that back because if they're cheating, then yes, obviously they're attractive in some shape, way, or form. Epic. Damn it. But that's not what I'm saying. The Empress in reverse is a lack. She lacks. She don't got her shit together. She complains a lot. Her home might be nasty. Yeah, she doesn't make proper decisions. She's not a good a mom. She might not be, don't have a job. They found, I got to say this, someone easy that will give them attention. Love can hurt like hell. Yeah, because they needed some attention. They could be feeling a little bit ignored, hurt. What is this? Time for shit to get real. Yeah. Okay. Keep that shit to yourself. Stop trying to control every damn thing. Um, This person here has been keeping this to herself for a while. But, yep, here it is. Fill in the blank. But they about to fill in the blank. But you, got, you already know this. I feel like someone here is going to start the subject off. Like, the energy I'm getting. Like, look, we got to talk. It's time we talk. And then you're just going to fill in the blank. Like, all right, no. I already know what it is. So what? What you cheating? You found somebody else. You fucking with somebody else. I already felt it. I already know. I already had a feeling. When was you going to tell me? And it start from there. <clears throat> Let's see what this person wants to tell you. Something like that is here. Mm-hmm. Is it just for the collective? This person wants to tell the collective. Is it just for the collective? Show me. Mm. so embarrassed I acted foolish and don't know how to tell you how sorry I am so someone here could feel like they acted foolish they you know I, I do I feel like this person also because of the choice that they made here when they choose to step up now for all of you guys you're not going to resonate with this person stepping out of this relationship others of you guys you will alright for some of you guys, they could have already done stepped out and, and cut this off because I'm getting that kind of energy as well because they want to work this out. The distance between us is killing them. The distance between us is killing me. It's killing them. This could be distance, separation distance. Some people, this could be distant already in your home, in your household. And that's what's been happening. You guys aren't connecting. They could have tried to connect with someone else, started to connect with someone else. Maybe they thought that was going to fulfill them, and it's not. The dating scene has already changed. The way we date has changed. That has it's not working. Someone here is like, no, nah, I'm going to talk to my person. And this is someone that wants to give an ultimatum. Or they want to give this one last try. I hope you allow me to step up and turn this around. I cannot make this shit up. Okay. Uh, Damn it. Looking at your pictures for hours on end, you are still so beautiful. And they still look at your pictures, whether they still with you, in the home with you. You guys know what I'm saying or not. Let's get you guys some overall messages. Let's see. Almighty beautiful universe. What is the overall messages for collective? Let me see. What's the, ooh. This could have been someone to some of you guys were married to. Yep, feelings. Take time out to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing. And that's what this person is going to do. They're going to take some time out for you guys to sit down and really explore this. Because they're like, nah, fuck this. I'm going to give this one last chance. This could be an ultimatum for you. Guys, here. This might be like, you know... The, the string that breaks the camel's back. I don't know if your ancestors talk like that. That sounds like an old saying. So your soul is preparing to reconnect trust in the process. Yeah. And this is a deeper connection. Like I said, I don't feel like this person, for some of you guys, you're in separation, but you're separated in your household. 
Like you become this. Sometimes when you go through shit, you become distant. You have past life and obstacles. You do share a past life with this person. For some of you guys, this um, third party energy um, that they had is of their past. And they're going to tell you about it. It's the obstacle that you guys overcame. Temptation. Now where you are in this, you know. Yeah, but this person does love you. I, I'm going to say this for somebody here. This might be like, if, if something don't change here, it, 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 this person really does love you. It truly loves you. But something must, it's imperative that something changes. All right, let's get you guys some um, Oracle messages. Let's see. The oracle messages for the collective. I want to go for universal Holy Spirit. What's the oracle messages for the collective? Oracle messages. Show you the oracle messages. Okay. Let's see. Show your oracle messages for the collective. Uh oh. All right. Yeah. Turn away. It's a, this is it, y'all. You know, I think this might be you as well. You know, like, you know, I do. It could be both of you guys for different reasons. Abundance. You are coming into your abundance and you want this to be an abundant relationship. And it's like, either you're going to work with me or work against me, period. And that's what you're thinking. And that's what this person is thinking. Um, I do feel like you can relax, yeah. Here, because this person is still wants to be spontaneous and still show you that they still have love. That could be the miraculous thing. Miracles that also turn this around for you guys. Because that's how real love, true love works sometimes. It'd be like the last. Yep. It's the truth. Because the truth is love conquers all. Love is the stronger emotion of all. Can broke, it can break anything and heal everything. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, God. This cold is kicking my ass, honey. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. All right. Before we get you your signs and planets, let me get you your love oracle message. Then we'll get your signs and plan planets, guys. All right. Attraction. Mm hmm. And this person is still very much attracted to you, too. Yep. And this is coming in very soon. I feel like this conversation is. And whatever be this betrayal here has already happened. Yep. It is safe for you to love this person. And I feel like this is, again, you're going to like, for some of you guys, it's almost like you guys falling in love all over again. Yep. Getting to know each other in passion. Yeah. Past life. Yep. Give your relationship a chance. Yeah. Yep. And for some of you guys, you could even be saving like your marriage. All right. I'm um, here. Yep. And that's what the a fated contract is. Whether this is your spiritual partner or like your, um, you know, the partner you chose. Forgiving and learning. Yeah. All right. Let's get your signs and planets, guys. The sounds and planets for the collective. Mm, yep, I saw Venus. Damn. All right, conjunction. Yep, alliance. You guys are alliant. Um, you guys have alliance. This could have been a journey that you guys got through. This something that you guys had to learn, and you learn together. And it will make you guys stronger when it comes to certain contracts. You will also hear your parents, other people that's been married and things like that, that goes, that, you know, will say that, you know, it, you know, it only made us stronger and only brought us back together. Some tests in life will be your testimony, even in your relationships, and it will bring you guys back together. Okay. I don't know who boobies got done or something like this. Now, I was trying not to say it, but this shit, I don't know, y'all. Now, I'm going to say it. Shit. There's something going on with some boobs here. I don't know if someone got, somebody got some, like, their boobs done or something here. It's, 
So there could be like a boob bigger than the other one. I don't know where this came from. This came out of nowhere. This is just your confirmation if this is you. I don't know. Damn it. Here or something like that. I don't know why that came up. I don't know what the hell this got to do with this reading. Something like that is here. Someone here got cosmetic surgery. I don't know if this is you or this person they was with. Someone here could have got their stomach done. This is botched work. I hope you guys... I, sometimes I wish you guys can see this shit that they be showing. Because <laughs> it's not funny. Damn For some of you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. This Damn is this it. person they could have cheated you on you with. This third party. Someone here got, uh, got a botch. Just, yeah, honey. I'm going to let that go because I don't even want to be funny here. I'm really not trying to be funny here. But you got to watch it. Everybody going through these crazy ass doctors doing this botched ass shit. Chit chow. This looks terrible. I don't know who. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to just let that go. I don't know where that came from. We got Mercury in partnership. Yep. This person's going to communicate with you. Mercury. Mercury is all about communication. Someone here could also be a Gemini in here as well. Yep. Self note. Pez. A karmic. This is a karmic. I, I was trying. Whoever they did this with, child, this was a. I'm going to let this go. I ain't even going to do this. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not doing this, y'all. Because I almost, I ain't going to do that. I love you all. I'm shutting y'all down right now. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, I do see you repairing this relationship, guys. But you guys definitely need to get on one page. Now, for some of you guys, I think this is you giving this person an ultimatum. And I don't blame you before they step out again and don't have a conversation with you. It might be over. And I feel that. And for others of you guys, it could be this person giving you an ultimatum because they don't want to do this anymore or have to step out on this relationship. They're, they really love you in this marriage connection. They want to work it out. I love you all. Stay dope. Hit that bell. Hit all. That's your, your energy and your frequency. Stay in tune right here. Stay in tune into this reading and other readings that you are getting. Guys, don't forget that these are general messages where the part of the message is going to resonate with you guys or the whole message does. I love you. Stay dope. Next video upload. Ashe. Amen.